hell is that? For the love of God, please someone shut that bloody owl up. No, you're fine. You'd want to tell you what, why don't you just keep going all night long? Oh, actually, what the hell's happened to my bed? Oh, man. Well, good morning. Welcome to day two in Scotland. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. We were supposed to be here two hours ago. Uh, it wasn't that we overslept because we were all up at four or half past four. It wasn't that we couldn't find the place. It's the fact that we were pushing it for petrol. So we decided we'd just take a quick trip to Fort William, which is like an hour the other way or something ridiculous. So, so anyway, so we're here. Anyway, uh, where are we? You may be asking. Well, we are at Kilchurn Castle. I'm glad I took the shot when I did because the wind's just picked up a bit and it's just causing a few ripples which was losing that really sort of mirror glass effect on the on the lock and I'll talk you through my composition here before I show you the image basically we've got these these reeds in the foreground sort of like they're quite cut quite low which is quite nice so they had a bit of foreground interest and then you've got the reflection of the castle the castle and then the, the mountain in the background now, there's a few issues here uh, that are going to be needed to sort be sorted out in post firstly we've got uh, a dirty great uh, metal fence around the castle which is quite annoying uh, but we'll just clone that out and there's also a power line that was running across the back so there's a couple of pylons that might be in the shot as well which is annoying but uh, you know we deal with these things so that's the first shot here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the longer lens on and I'm going to try and really like pull in and, and get a really tight crop of the castle and its reflection in the water, providing that the, the, the lock settles again and we get a nice mirror. I might do it anyway, actually. <laughs> I've got the 150 to 600 on only needs to be at 150 any more than that and I'm not going to get in the reflection and the castle but I've had to come back considerably from the actual shoreline to get the shot um, I just wish that that glassy reflection would come back it's not quite yet I'm sort of getting half reflections so the top of the castle is being reflected and there's a little portion near the foot but the middle bit is being sort of shrouded by this uh, by this uh, water unfortunately where it's uh, disturbed uh, by the wind but it's okay because it, I mean come on seriously what a fantastic place this is it doesn't really matter what conditions you get it's still brilliant to be out here taking shots isn't it so you know it's just just amazing while we're here so I'll give you a little update on on my status uh, camping status shall I I was tired yesterday so you know about 12 hour drive got up at 3 a.m went to bed about 10 about 12 o'clock realized that my uh, mattress had got a leak or a puncture so i've been sleeping on the floor pretty much for most of the night freezing 
waking up several times, aching. Gotta love camping, isn't it? Well, as you can probably see behind me, the, the mirror's completely gone now. There's ripples, there's a lot of wind on the, on the lock, so it's gone. So I think, uh, I think that added to the fact that I don't have a filter, uh, filter holder big enough for my 150, 600, meaning I can't put any NDs on, uh, means that that's the end of this particular shoot for me. I think there's probably another spot further round that you could get some photos from, but I can see fishermen and tents and all sorts over there. So I'm probably going to stay away from that. Take this one shot, be happy with it, move on to the next location. Well, good afternoon. Kilchurn Castle's done. We went and had a look at Loch Tuller, looked at the obvious shot there, but the, to be honest with you, the water's so low that it makes that a tricky image. We had lunch at the Glencoe Inn where they forgot my onion rings, can I say? Very nice meal, apart from the fact they forgot my onion rings, even I asked for them twice. Uh, that's, I asked for them twice, not two lots of onion rings. And now we're taking this shot that's sort of down the bottom of the valley where you've got this water running and then you take a shot. Now the only issue is, is because there's been so little rain, I know it sounds ironic since it's chucking it down now, but there's been so little rain that the water's quite low. So you've got to try and find the shot, work the competition. One thing I'm going to say, Jamie will bear, bear witness to me here. Did I not say that all we had to do was walk from up there down to here. Did did I? Yeah. yeah. Where did we come? We walked about a mile around to get here and back yeah. up to the road. Past so we came the all the way down to the bottom to come all the way back up to the top. So all the way down, down to the walk. bottom. But yes, it is. It is lovely weather. Yeah. So, so yeah. So anyway, let's see what we can find from here, shall we? Okay, so I found my composition here. I think one of my key points in the image, my key points are to try and get some of this water flowing round to get the, well, some of the three sisters in the background and then to be low enough to cut out the, the rock as it runs around the river because I think that might be a bit of a distracting element. So that's what I've done basically. I'm going to shoot a pano here. Uh, We'll just see how it goes really with this one. Uh, I may move over to shoot directly down the river as well at some point, but right now, I'm just gonna focus in on this shot. So I'm not really sure that that shot works, to be honest with you. I think that to get the water in as it flows round, you're sort of, everything's very left hand heavy. And then to get the water in the background, there's not really a lot on the right hand side. So then I'll leave that up to you to decide, but I'm not really sure about that. I think I need to be further right. I need to be shooting down uh, the river as it goes round and then up into the mountains.
I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> so what a beautiful place, seriously. Absolutely beautiful. I've moved around a little bit. I've kind of jumped into Sam's shoes here, really. He was taking this shot, but it's the one that I was on about where you kind of get the, the flow of the river down as, well, you know, not a leading line as such, but down, and then you've got the mountains. But my God, it's raining. It, I mean, it's ra it is, <clears throat> it's really raining. Everyone else got umbrellas. I left one in the car uh, on the campsite. So, uh, happy days. So this is the final evening of the trip. We've all come out of the pub. I'm still sober because I've had to drive. Everyone else is four pints down and we're attempting the north face of the bastard. 